what's up guys this is Guy here today I bring you a quick update on my new home network installation as you may know I've been installing a new network in this house and I'm showing you all that project step by step I have created two videos about this project the first one was the intro and the second one I showed you how I did the, the cabling and the patch panel and everything so if you haven't watched those they are in the description so today I just installed a new device which is the UPS UPS stands for uninterrupted power supply. It's a very important device that you need to have in your network because that is the device from which all the other devices will get the power. And you basically get two main advantages from the UPS. The first one is that you get the backup power in case you lose power. The UPS comes with batteries that are inside and they will store the energy for you. And in case you lose energy in your house or your installation, the UPS is going to kick in and keep your devices running to give you some time to find a solution or just to turn off the device if you want to. And the second advantage is that it's going to regulate the voltage going to your devices. So the power may be fluctuating from time to time, but if you have an UPS, the UPS will keep the voltage the same and your devices will not be affected by any power surge. It's very recommended everywhere, even in big data centers, they have to have this kind of system to protect all the devices inside and most importantly to provide the backup in case there is an outage or something. So the UPS that I installed is from CyberPower. It's a beautiful UPS, very slim, a one U UPS that fits in my rug. It has six outlets on the back. Four of them provide power surge protection and backup as well. And the other two provide surge protection only. So it weighs 18 pounds and it's kind of heavy on the rack compared to the other devices that I'm going to have. It can also support up to 300 watt of load, which is a lot for network devices that I'm going to use. I know that the switch is going to support the cameras and the access points. So the switch might be the only device that would probably draw more energy from this device. Other than that, all the other devices are very small and they should be running just fine. The UPS has a small screen here in the front and the screen shows me a lot of information. It shows me how much autonomy I still have on battery. Like you can see now, I have about 200 minutes of autonomy. This is because I haven't plugged in anything to this device. So that's why you still have this much time left. But if I have everything plugged in, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have about 15 or 20 minutes of autonomy, which is not bad in case I lose power. I'll have time to maybe find a backup for power or maybe just shut down my devices and that's going to be pretty good. And my cameras are going to be uh, PoE cameras as well. So in case someone cut the power, trying not to be on camera, the UPS will be there to provide that power still and the cameras will still be working. So that's it. That is my last device that I installed and I'm going to bring you more updates here. If you don't want to miss any of them, make sure to subscribe and hit the like button to support this channel. And also if you are interested and want to start or boost your career in a networking field, check out my CCNA course on kbtrainings.com forward slash CCNA. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next update here on KB Trainings. Bye.